what's coming up is we're going to be doing a little tool haul with uh, electronic tool haul with some GoPro um, accessories, some lenses. Please stay tuned and uh, stay tuned for the, the next portion of the video and I'll see you next time. All right, everybody. So that's going to be a, another little small electronic tool haul. These are some lenses that I bought for the blue cage that I showed. If you watched one of my previous videos, I showed a blue cage um, for my GoPro. Uh, these are actually some accessories for that cage because it has a giant round 52 millimeter lens. So if I pan this down. Um, he threw in a couple extras. He threw in this looks like a diffuser lens. And he threw in this uh, little microfiber cloth for cleaning. Um, I'm going to open them in front of you. This states on it HF-DH52. Um, says Vivitar all over the package. I think this was a bonus. He just threw it in. because There's something I'm, I bought from him that I'm waiting for. I got it on YouTube. Um... It says 52 millimeter at the top. It's got the locking collet. Um, it's really nice. This should thread directly into the front of the lens, and it looks like it does. So there's that. I got a two times two 2.2 times professional telephoto lens. And the lens comes in a nice little leather Vivitar bag. It's got a cap on the back that's protecting the screws or the screw threads. If I can get it back on. It's got a little, looks like a kind of leathery plastic front cover. So that's pretty nice. Put that one back in the box for now. The other lens is a 0 0.43 times professional wide angle lens with macro. <clears throat> this one also came in a little bag. It has the screw cap on the back. Front cover is definitely a wide angle lens. It's really nice. And these both have um, threading on the inside so you can put other lenses on them. I got this little HF GP52. This is like a little adapter. So this you can actually put over if you just have your camera out and you want to convert your camera you can actually slide this over the GoPro Hero lens and then you use these grub screws to lock it in and then you literally have a 52 millimeter uh, cap that you can screw accessories onto 
This I don't need, but if I ever wanted to take the cage off and I just wanted to use the camera by itself, I can always put this on. It comes with a little Allen key for the grub screws. Um, it's nice. Metal. Um, and then I got four, a four piece kit, 52 millimeter close up macro lenses. Comes in a nice little pouch. The kit I originally bought was a 58 millimeter, and the gentleman that I bought the kit from, he's like, oh yeah, I can send you the, I can send you it in the, the 52 millimeter, no big deal. It's a plus four lens. This one is a a ten times lens. This one is a plus two lens. And this one is a close up lens plus one. Comes in a pretty nice little pouch. I like that. And this should be the UV, CPL, and FLD lens. It also comes in a pouch. It's the series of one on it. <coughs> this is the UV lens. This pink one is the FLD lens. And this one is the CPL lens. So all in all, a very nice kit. And it, it came with the microfiber. Every time I buy something from this gentleman on eBay or I buy uh, camera equipment, I always get um, microfiber towels. So he, he did throw in an uh, extra couple items. The diff large looks like, a, I think this is considered a diffuser. And then a uh, microfiber towel. So those are two extras. So instead of the 10 items, I got 12. It's a, it's a nice kit, to be honest with you. So please like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell notification icon, and uh, check out my Amazon affiliate links. And also, you know, if you'd like to see more of these videos, make sure that you do check the bell notification icon. And I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching.